Hello students welcome to smart world a school of complete education today we are going to learn english and in that we are going to study chapter have you ever seen warming up first words that have the same spelling but differ in meaning when used in different contexts are called homographs for example a a temple fair attracts a lot of crowd her performance in the test was fair b a rose is the king of flowers the sun rose with a golden glow think of five homographs and list them below then write two sentences of your own to bring out the difference in meanings the first column is homograph and the second column is sentences For each homograph, you have to write two sentences in A and B. Two. When words with the same spelling or pronunciation are used in such a way that they convey more than one meaning, the figure of speech involved is called pun. A pun is a play upon words. For example, A. Hello. How's life? B. Hello. It's a strife. find other examples of pun with the help of your parents or teachers write four examples third in poetry when a question is asked not to get an answer but to emphasize a point of fact it is an example of interrogation for example when can their glory fade isn't it time for the autumn's glow from a popular book of poems on the internet write down three or four examples of interrogation used in poetry have you ever seen have you ever seen a sheet on a river bed or a single hair from a hammer's head has the foot of a mountain any toes and is there a pair of garden hose does the needle ever wink its eye Why doesn't the wing of a building fly? Can you tickle the ribs of a parasol or open the trunk of a tree at all? Are the teeth of a rake ever going to bite? Have the hands of a clock any left or right? Can the garden plot be deep and dark? And what is the sound of the bird's mark? Anonymous Let us understand the meaning of few words. First, hose, a flexible tube, or a pair of stockings or tights. Parasol, that is umbrella. Plot, the word plot is also used to mean an evil or wicked plan. Birch means a tree. English workshop. From each line in the poem, pick out the word that is a homograph. Write its meaning in the context of the phrase used in the poem. then write the other meaning implied in the question for example in the first stanza there is a word bed one meaning of the word bed is piece of furniture the other meaning of the word is bottom of the river sea etc similarly do the same for the first second and third paragraph second task write two lines from this poem which you find most humorous justify your choice third find the poem from the poem three examples of each a interrogation three examples for that b pun three examples for that c personification three examples for that d alliteration three examples for that fourth form groups of four or five then discuss and add at least one more stanza using the same style and devices as the poet has used it should include homographs interrogation and the same rhythm and rhyme scheme have or does or are five read the following sentences carefully then fill in the blanks using appropriate words from the brackets to make puns the words in the brackets are struck numbered too tired developed put down homeless old fashioned reaction first 
she had a photographic memory but never dash it second he was struggling to figure out how lightning works when it dash him third every calendar's days are dash fourth a bicycle cannot stand on its own because it is dash fifth i am reading a book on anti gravity it is impossible to dash the book sixth i would tell you a chemistry joke but i know i wouldn't get it dash seventh what do you call watson when sherlock isn't around dash 8 i would tell a history joke but it's too dash 6 does read alice in wonderland by lewis carroll hope you enjoyed the lesson thank you